Hi, I'm Ian Campbell, a product manager at Panalytical. The most common use of the X-ray fluorescence technique is elemental quantification. One example is metal impurities in pharmaceutical tablets. Today, however, I'd like to demonstrate another use, whole tablet identification using the fingerprint method. And for this exercise, we're going to use a Panalytical EDXRF Epsilon 3 spectrometer. Equipped with the latest state-of-the-art electronics and optical components, and a very comprehensive software package. It's extremely powerful and very easy to use, and I'll show you how. Before we begin, let's have a look at the samples we're gonna to measure today. Here we see an array of pharmaceutical tablets. These are lifestyle drugs, which are commonly counterfeited. And we also have a series of fakes that have been provided to us by government authorities. The big advantage of the XRF technique is that the entire sample composition and its manufacturing process influence the spectrum. From the curvature of the sample to the density, the elemental composition, and even the active ingredient, all are reflected in the XRF spectra. Let's take this tablet, a fairly convincing looking fake, and we'll drop it into a cup. And we'll do the same with an unopened tablet from a blister. We center them. Now all we need to do is type in a sample identity and click measure. We'll call the first sample from the blister, blue pill one. Allocate its position and our suspect pill, pill two. Allocate its position. And now that our first measurement is completed, we can see some live spectra being collected from our second. Here are some large elemental peaks and some very high count rates. And here are the results. Blue pill one from the blister package is identified as Viagra. It's an excellent match with all of the reference spectra and has, has very low chi-square values. Our second sample, there is no match with our reference, but we can still examine the scoring and we see why there isn't a match. It's at least a thousand times higher chi-square values. Clearly our suspect sample is a fake. Now if you want to see the differences visually, we can compare all of the spectra from our samples and our references. We'll keep the Viagra spectra and eliminate the other pills. And as we get closer to the Viagra only, we'll see a tightening of the spectra until we see our two examples. And finally, here is our real Viagra and we see no difference and now we see the reason why our suspect is a fake we see a reduced titanium some elevated iron and in the light element area we can see some silicon and sulfur thank you for joining us please visit us at panalytical.com